When we're trying to understand a pathology, you have to give the devil its due because oftentimes within the problem is the solution or at least an insight. For example, why do people choose to eat unhealthy fast food when we know it leads to a host of diseases? Well, it's probably because it's freaking delicious and cheap, really cheap. So maybe the solution is healthy food that is delicious and affordable. Why do people smoke cigarettes when they rationally know it leads to lung cancer, bladder cancer, vascular disease, and poor dentition, et cetera, et cetera? Well, it's probably because nicotine reacts with a host of nicotinic receptors throughout the body that leads to things like more energy, high testosterone, mental clarity. Maybe we should create a nicotine product that's just nicotine and one that you don't have to smoke. In other words, within the problem is often the solution. Anorexia, a terrible illness. A lot of young women, generally speaking, suffer from this distorted sense of their bodies. And as a result of that, undertake many self-harming weight loss strategies. Many of them will die. Officially, to make the diagnosis of anorexia, you need a BMI of less than 18.5%. That's measurable. You have to be obsessed and preoccupied with weight loss. And you often use a restriction technique to lose weight. And finally, regardless of a person's distorted reality, there are measurable and quantifiable signs of disease. You can test for it, for end organ damage, EKG changes of the heart, low bone density, lack of muscle mass, poor dentition, hair loss, dehydration, and this is key, you ultimately become infertile. You can't reproduce. Arguably, if there's any irrefutable meaning to this life, being able to reproduce is pretty basic. And if a disease leads to that, it's probably a bad one. Okay, so why are people anorexic? What sustains them through this self-defeating process? And the answer, the insight, is ketones. When people don't eat, when they fast, when they don't have access to food, they start burning fat for fuel and create ketones. Not only that, in as little as 12 hours of not eating, autophagy, a process of cleaning up the body's cells at a micro level, occurs. Growth hormone increases, insulin sensitivity increases, blood pressure drops, et cetera, et cetera. Now, obviously, we're not promoting anorexia, but fasting is good for you when it's done in partnership with good nutrition. These patients with anorexia probably shouldn't be forced to suddenly snack throughout the day, but should probably be redirected into healthy fasting in a ketogenic state. When I take a person through detox of alcohol, I don't simply stop their intake of alcohol. That is life-threatening. Literally, they can die. Despite their good intentions of being sober, you have to lead them through a process. Instead, I wean them off alcohol with benzodiazepines over time. The insight here, you know, we as a society are obsessed with instant solutions, coming to God moments. I am saved. No, you're not. Repoint your life and work towards being better over time with support, new aims, and better techniques.